So the motivational speaker slash guru, Jay Shetty, just got kind of exposed as being the new Prince EA, and we definitely need to talk about this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take a look at different topics going on in the YouTube community to try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So a couple quick things, like my schedule is changing this week, so I don't know how often I'll be posting. I'll still be posting at least a few times a week. But anyways, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because some of you don't even realize I have a podcast and other projects that I'm working on. Best thing you could do is follow me on social media so you don't miss out when I post new content, all right? But I will be keeping you all posted over there on Twitter and Instagram, okay? So yeah, we're gonna be talking about what just went on with uh, Jay Shetty. And it's a, it's a bummer, man. It is a bummer. And I really hope like some people can learn from this. There's a few different topics we're gonna touch on. And the first one we're gonna talk about is black and white thinking. All right, so I was uh, messaged about this new video from Nicole Arbor, all right? And I am not a huge fan of Nicole Arbor. So those of you who don't know who Nicole Arbor is, you probably do and don't realize it. She exploded um, by going viral, by kind of like just like purposely like antagonizing people with her video, Dear Fat People, all right? And it's just like this kind of thing, just blaming fat people for being fat. And she got so much publicity based off that. I think she was even on The View for it, but she ended up making a part two, all right? And I just didn't really pay, pay attention to it, even though I am a fat guy. <laughs> but anyways, um, last year, was it last year or two years ago, she did a video about depression and it was just kind of, saying like, you just need to toughen up and get over it and there's a bunch of beautiful things, what's there to be depressed about? And yeah, so that was kind of my first real like, seeing what Nicole Arbor does. But that's kind of just her thing. She likes to get people talking about her and get attention, like a lot of people do that, right? Um, she also did a remake of This Is America by Childish Gambino and she like kind of turned it into this like, feminism video, but a lot of people were upset about it. But anyways, yeah, let's, let's first talk about black and white thinking. So Nicole Arbor is the one who made this video showing the issues with Jay Shetty that we're gonna talk about in a second. And like, here's the thing, like, we gotta get away from black and white thinking because I saw this, I'm like, oh no, it's Nicole Arbor. Oh, this is gonna be awful and just full of BS, right? Just because I have opinions about her, right? But it was actually a good video. And black and white thinking, for those of you who don't know, this is an error with our thinking. It's all or nothing thinking, right? It's thinking that people are all good or all bad. And that is rarely the case, all right? Like, bad people do good things sometimes. Good people do bad things sometimes, all right? Like, one of my favorite sayings that kind of gets me out of black and white thinking is, even a broken clock is right twice a day, all right? So although I'm not gonna be like a huge fan of Nicole Arbor, like I appreciate that she did this video and kind of brought light to this situation. So moving on to Jay Shetty. Those of you who don't know him, he is huge. I think he's bigger on Facebook than he is on YouTube, but on YouTube he has about 2.8 million subscribers. And I guess you can call him kind of motivational self-help. And I kind of see him in the same realm of what I do, right? Even though I've kind of switched to more social commentary while trying to see what lessons we can learn from him. Like, he is somebody who is trying to help people live a better life, improve their mental health. He talks a lot about mindfulness, meditation. He says he was a monk and things like that. And he says some great things. I actually saw him speak at VidCon this year. And I remember I was texting one of my friends um, because it was such a good talk that he gave at VidCon, but the room was like empty compared to the Emma Chamberlain talk that I was just in, you know what I mean? I'm like, man, this guy who's actually like trying to help people, he has like less of an audience than, you know, other creators here at VidCon. But anyways, Nicole Arbor just kind of showed the fact that Jay Shetty, a lot of his motivational quotes that he posts on 
Twitter and on Instagram and on Facebook, they're not even his. And I'm like, oh, Jay, why you gotta do this, Jay? And those of you who don't know, this is actually something that Prince EA, it got found out that he was doing the same thing. And what's, what's even more interesting about this is not only have they both been plagiarizing these inspirational quotes, but Nicole Arbor even shows a clip of Jay Shetty plagiarizing Prince EA, and who knows if Prince EA plagiarized what Jay Shetty ended up plagiarizing. You see what I mean? And it's just, it's a bummer, man, because whenever we kind of look up to somebody who's like kind of teaching us about self-improvement and things like that, like there's some values that go along with it, right? Like honesty, transparency, you know, and things like that. So when you find out that they're doing something kind of shady, it's like, ugh, right? So let's, let's talk about this. Like, is this an issue? Absolutely it is, right? But those of you who don't know me, I am really against cancel culture. And I do think most people deserve forgiveness, all right? Like, it's not like Jay Shetty, we just found out he's the new Jeffrey Epstein or something like that, you know what I mean? But yeah, this was kind of a shady, scummy thing. And it's something that I've been curious about because I've kind of turned my Instagram into a, um, a place where I share like quotes and I try to put a little, you know, like, uh, you know, almost like a mini blog there and kind of talk about just different mental health ideas and things like that to kind of improve our lives, things that I've learned or things that are on my mind, right? And it's like hard. Like sometimes it's hard to think of like an Instagram quote to put up there. Like that sounds really stupid, but it is. <laughs> like I'm like, huh, does this sound good? Like how's this? You know what I mean? So something that... Um, actually came up was I've been reading this book called McMindfulness, all right? And I highly recommend you guys check it out. So basically what McMindfulness is, it kind of sheds a light on people like Jay Shetty or Prince EA. And basically it's kind of how this like mindfulness movement and self-help uh, genre has turned into this like multi-billion dollar industry. And in the book, Make Mindfulness, like he talks a lot about uh, capitalism and neoliberalism and everything like that. And there's definitely some things that I disagree with in that book, but like seeing what Jay Shetty's doing, like plagiarizing these quotes on Instagram and everything, like this, this is kind of what the author is talking about, right? So I am willing to give Jay Shetty the benefit of the doubt. And I think this is something that we all need to do because cancel culture, outrage culture, the hate mob and everything like that, like, do I think Jay Shetty is an awful person for doing this? No. Do I think he did something stupid? Yeah. But here's the thing. I know for a fact that Jay Shetty has a team, right? So, and maybe this is just me being ignorant or me, you know, giving him way too much leeway on this thing. But I would, at least I hope this is the case that maybe people on his team in order to pump out content were plagiarizing stuff, right? And I think that like, no matter what it is, whether it was people on his team or it was him, here's the thing, like it just shouldn't, shouldn't be done. Like, like I mentioned, I do, you know, some quotes and stuff like that on, uh, Instagram and they're either all mine. I think all my recent ones have been mine, but if not, I credit the other person. So here's a couple things. Like if anybody out there is watching this and you're, I don't know, in the same niche or realm, here's my suggestion. Like get inspired, but don't steal stuff, right? Like sometimes when I'm like, oh, I wanna make an Instagram post or whatever, like I'll just kind of like read some stuff or check in some of the books that I have and it inspires me and then I create my own you know, quote from it, right? But the other thing about social media, like you don't always have to be like this purely original person. You can credit other people. Like some of you out there, you follow people who just distribute content, right? They share a bunch of good articles or they share a bunch of good quotes. Like I think a great example of this is What's that account called? I think it's called Goal Coast, like G-O-A-L, Coast. And their Instagram is just pulling a bunch of inspirational quotes from well-known people, right? And they're huge, they're massive. They also do like compilation videos of like people's speeches and motivational talks and everything like that. So yeah, I just, I just don't get why 
people like Jay Shetty or Prince EA do this, right? I don't think they'd be any less credible doing what they do if they just shed some light on someone else who had an amazing quote wherever they got it from. You know what I mean? Like so many of these things that we see happen on, uh, you know, in the YouTube, you know, community or just, just in society in general, like so many of them could just be avoided, right? And this is just something that we need to learn from. Like if you're watching this, you're like, what's this have to do with me? Like, listen, like college, like you might be going off to college right now. You might've just started school. Like don't copy people, be creative be original <laughs> and like feel free to message me i don't know if you guys want me to like talk about this on a podcast sometime but i've been writing most of my life and like sometimes like you know when i'm doing you know uh, freelance writing and things like that like i get inspired by things and then turn it into something of my own you know what i mean and it's completely different so if you want me to like i don't know just kind of help you with that so you don't plagiarize let me know if that's something you'd be interested in because i don't know like i'm not like a phenomenal writer or anything like that but if i can help you with that stuff just let me know i'm, I'm here to serve you baby i'm here to serve you all right but do me a favor in the comments down below like compared to everything we've seen in the youtube community from like logan paul in japan y'all know what i'm talking about right from like jacqueline hill like in her lipstick debacle <laughs> and like all these other things happening like where do you rate jay shetty on this for plagiarizing quotes and like do you think this is forgivable all right i shared my opinion but i would love to hear yours all right so anyways that's all i got for this video don't forget follow me on instagram and twitter at the rewired soul my schedule is going to be changing a little bit but you can stay up to date with all the news and all the stuff i'm working on when you follow me on social media all right but anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you're all amazing and thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways like buying my books and merch and all that other cool stuff all right thanks again for watching i'll see you next time